Just kind of foundational things out of the gate. If you're through the holidays, try to mitigate the damage by choosing foods that are going to be less inflammatory, still give you the, the feeling of your enjoying life, right? You're cheating a little bit, but it, it's mitigating the damage. Like Evan said, um, higher quality broad spectrum enzymes and acids, especially when you're eating those food, because a lot of foods that you're more intolerant to, you have a hard time breaking it down. And the lack of breakdown of that food can create more bloating and gas and constipation. So we'll put our recommended digestive supports below in the links below so you can see them. We have different HCL enzymes and bile support products. And then we have different binders or detoxification support with glutathione or, or sulfur aminos uh, down below. Also, the immune support I'm using right now, just to give you kind of top five things I'm taking right now, of course, vitamin D, of course, N-acetylcysteine, really important, um, vitamin C, quercetin, and I would say reishi mushroom is an excellent thing. These are all things that I'm doing right now. Of course, a couple other things that I'm doing uh, preventatively are going to be sinus flushes where I rotate between either a sinus flush with saline, uh, between iodine, silver, and hydrogen peroxide, all diluted. And I've been doing a little bit of nebulizing hydrogen peroxide. And I've been just taking the 5 ml saline blister packs and doing about three to four drops of hydrogen peroxide in there, which brings the amount to about 0.1%. And that works really good, just trying to keep um, kind of disinfecting that upper respiratory tract airway. That's where the virus tends to replicate and grow. And if we can knock that down with flushing or nebulizing, that prevents the viral load from going up, which that's what creates all the inflammation, right? So if we keep the viral load down, keep some good natural anti-inflammatories going, keep your immune system supported. Of course, sugar suppresses your immune system, get 12 hours of sleep a night. All these are foundational things out of the gates. Yeah, and your lungs, believe it or not, make hydrogen peroxide. So yep. when people, uh, there's, you know, the internet and the supposed fact checkers, which in the court of law, now Facebook admitted that their fact checkers are simply opinions, and they're not truly fact checkers. So that's important for people to know. But there's been some stuff online about hydrogen peroxide telling people this is dangerous and all that we make hydrogen peroxide in our bodies. Mm -hmm. So you're taking it at a diluted rate. I took it straight. I did just straight 3% just to see how it was. It burned a little bit in my nose, but other than that, it was fine. I did a whole podcast with Dr. Thomas Levy on this. He's a cardiologist who's been um, speaking. I think he did an, uh, a talk with Dr. Mercola about the topic. So if you want to listen to it, it's Thomas Levy. We talked all about the hydrogen peroxide nebulization and the IV vitamin C, which he's using for the RULO formation from people that are getting the injection. Uh, he's using IV vitamin C to help break up the blood. So really, really cool resource. Thomas Levy, he's a, he's a genius. Very cool.